to do a kind of, you know, there are journals where they publish case studies. So that's a possibility. And if any of the groups are interested in doing further work and publishing a case study, it's going to be a lot more work. It means like you've got the basis for something, but you know, a couple more months work. If anyone's interested, it could really lead to a publication. I'd be happy to work with you even though the semester would be over. So let me know if you want to continue with your projects. Okay, now we have a unison. This is one of UNICEF's major sources of advertising. They have advertisements on TV, and as opposed to different nonprofit agencies like <coughs> Red Cross or somewhere where you can donate blood, you just walk there and donate blood. UNICEF is not an organization where it's very easy for you to do field work. Um, you can donate money online, you could donate money by calling your hotline numbers, but like I said, there's not really an opportunity to do field work as opposed to the Red Cross where you have and New York Cares where you can go, you can paint a school, and you can do different stuff like that. Um, we're actually going to get a little bit into the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of UNICEF. The strengths, um, UNICEF provides emergency food and health care to children in developing countries, and it serves as a primary point of distribution for such essential items as vaccines, 
medicines for children, mothers with HIV, nutritional supplements, emergency shelters. And one of the main things about UNICEF is that they not only try to prevent the spread of these diseases, they try to get to the root of the problem and you know, they promote contraception, that sort of thing, to prevent these diseases from coming about in the first place. They believe that prevention is better than cure. And since UNICEF, their aim is to help the children, and they believe that the children are the future, they think the best place to start is with the adult generation. So not because the UNICEF is the United Nations Children Fund, they don't only target children, they target adults as well. Weaknesses. Um, there's a lot of controversy surrounding UNICEF. They have been criticized for its focus on specific policies. Um, different countries believe that UNICEF is actually promoting things like abortion in developing countries like Kenya and Guatemala. And because not a lot of people are involved with this field work, they are concerned about what is actually going on behind the scenes and stuff like that. <coughs> Opportunities. UNICEF receives contributions from governments and private donors, approximately $2.7 billion per year. Um, there is a lot that they could do with this money, and every year they try to start a new program, like the one I showed you in the video, which is a pamper, one pack of pampers for a vaccine. So they try to get different angles, different areas, different countries every year. So, I mean, there's a lot of area for development. Threats. Um, the Catholic Church is withdrawing its donations because of reports that UNICEF has used some of those funds to finance sterilizations and abortions. Um, UNICEF is a nonprofit organization. All their money does come from donations, so at, it's very hard to maintain a very general stance on things like they can't really make a stance on abortion or the death penalty because this will result in that person withdrawing their donations or they'll lose support from this company or that company. And a majority of their donations do come from large investors. Uh, people, the general public, do donate money online, you know, through calling their hotline and stuff like that. But a majority of their donations do come from large private investors who give millions at a time. And for advertising, UNICEF does have products in every country, different countries like Slovakia, Jamaica, they make t-shirts, bags, and if you do go to the United Nations compound at One UN Plaza, they have different books and stuff like that. And after you purchase these things, these, the money does get donated to different funds and charities and organizations. So, I mean, if you guys want to support, you can feel free to do that. Visit their website, call their hotline. They do accept public donations. Okay, so the next and last group we have is the Apple group. I think the Mac group has disappeared. We won't have that presentation. The Mac group has disappeared. The whole group has disappeared throughout the year. Wow, I'm still here. So, we'll have the other group. And that's, I think there's no other group. I still have to go. Oh, you're going to do the Michael Yes, actually, we do have one other, a new group, a new last minute formation, Catherine, right? That's going to do Michael Kors. See by yourself. By yourself, number seven.
Let's make sure that everyone has in their executive summary. And why don't we leave the executive summaries on the front table? So far, I have Forever 21, Borders, Grimaldi's. Do we have city banks? Executive yeah. summary? Okay, so just so before we begin, because the judges will also have a copy of the executive Oh, thank you. Yeah, now the judges are not here. That's what we Yes, uh, before you leave, we'll take the extra copies. I'll stand on it. If you have extra trips. Okay, we are number seven. We did an uh, investigation analysis of Apple's customer service. Start off. Um, I'm Anthony LaRosa, I'm a marketing major. Uh, my name is Rajiv Bhagavatula. Um, my major is QBA, Quantitative Business Analysis. And hello everyone, my name is Giancarlo Marasiga, and my major is Finance and Accounting. Okay, so we started off by doing a SWOT analysis of the Apple brand as a whole. Um, their strengths, Apple is a really strong brand right now. They have a really wide product mix. They have everything from software like iTunes to actual physical products like mobile devices, tablets, and their vertical integration of them is really strong. They both control the operating system and products that, that it uses and provides really strong quality control. Um, their products are known for being very easy to use, anyone can learn them, and just being kind of the stylish products out there. They look good, they're not, everyone really likes them. Uh, they also have the iTunes Store, which is the number one online music retailer, and their customers support is very highly rated due to strong internal standards. Some of the weaknesses are that their products are very expensive. They enter the market at some of the highest ones, highest prices, that is. Uh, they have very high research and development costs compared to some of the other brands. <coughs> and there is, uh, they're very reliant on Steve Jobs, the leader of the company. He is known for being the one who really took Apple and made it to the next level by introducing products like the iPod, like the iPad, and there has been really no information on who might succeed him and take over the brand when, when he either passes on or decides to resign, and due to his recent health problems, it's become a growing concern. Opportunities. Um, they have been opening many stores, and if they all of them have done exceedingly well, there's always lines at them. They, Windows has been coming, becoming more and more uh, problematic for people. They find that vi vi they're very prone to viruses. They all come up all the time. There's a lot of spyware and fishing with it. Um, they've really entered the